do some work for yourself with relationship guidance, mental, emotional guidance. Relationships are more fun. You see clearly exactly what it is. You know exactly what you're looking for. You could smell narcissism from a mile away, like, get away from me. <laughs> get away from me. And you don't need to kind of just go with the flow, especially the ladies out there who I coach sometimes get persuaded towards the men's direction, the men's way, the men's rules and time frame on how to date. They just kind of lose themselves in that situation. Be aware of it. So today we're going to talk about five red flags real quick to be aware of these situations in the beginning stages, relationship stages, or even whatever the stage is. But be aware of this. Give it a name. Number one, red flag number one, intensity. Intensity. Intensity is good for certain things. Not with the relationships. Not with expressing your feelings. Not with resolving conflict or an argument. Intensity could be harmful, damaging, threatening, unsafe. When someone expresses very extreme feelings, over the top, top of, you know, over the top behavior, and, and, and it feels overwhelming of constant intensity. I had one client say, well, it's just because you're so passionate, coach. I'm like, this isn't a novella. This isn't Telemundo. <laughs> I don't care about passion. If there's an intensity thing going on within that person, it's probably stemming from something else. Bad habit, an addiction, childhood, who knows, something. We all got something. So let's get over that. We all got something. But if there's a certain level of intensity, angerment issues, it's not about you and him about that situation or that talk, but that intensity that resurfaces, you know, that recycles in the situation. That's a red flag. And that's where you know with you, if you are dating someone, you want to be able to be like, hey, it doesn't need to project to that point. We don't need to add more gasoline to this fire. How do we, like, I want to understand you in this point. But if someone has an intensity and doesn't want to hear it, intensity and they're in denial, intensity and they reject your offer, you're basically dating a wall. It's not going to go anywhere. 